Hi, so we're gonna do number nine. So let me just get my pencil. Yeah. And we'll get started. Okay, so a 20 year loan of a thousand is repaid with payments at the end of each year. Okay, so we got 20 years and we wanna pay a thousand. So each of the first 10 payments equals 150% uh, of the amount of interest due. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, the first thing is, what is the amount of interest due? We have to take the uh, loan amount times 10% uh, because the lender charges interest at an annual effective rate of 10%. And then take our calculators and then we find out that we get 100. So now, uh, once we get 100, it says that each of the first 10 payments equals 150% of the amount of interest due. Okay, so that means it would do 100 times 150%. And then we end up getting, hold on, times 150%. And then we end up getting oh, percentage. And then we end up getting 150, right? So this is the payment, and this is the interest that is paid. So uh, this whole uh, question revolves around the concept that a payment will always equal interest paid plus principal. So that would mean that in the first case scenario, if we have 100 interest and we paid out 150, then that would mean that there would be a principal of 50. Once we paid out a principal of 50, the $1,000 decreases to 950. Now we'll uh, do another scenario of this process. So now we're going to take 950 times 10% again to find the interest paid. Then we get 95. Then we're going to do uh, 95 times 150% to get 142.5 as the payments. Now we're gonna subtract that value by 95 and we get 47.5. Then we subtract that from 950 because we paid out this much principal. And then we find out that the next value of it decreases to 902.5. Now we see that there is a relationship between these two values that um, if we were to do a ratio to find the common ratio, we would see that for each year, the principal decreases by 95% which means that if I were to do 95% times 1,000, it would be 950. 950 times 95%, uh, it would be 902. So it says that we need to, uh, it says each of the last 10, pain, last 10 payments is X, right? So all of these are, this is the X region, right? And we need to calculate X. So this is looking like we need to create like a present value equation and set somewhere as a comparison date to create that. So we need at least time 10 to be the comparison date. So how would we find the value at time 10 or how would we find the outstanding balance at time 10? Well, the equation for that uh, usually involves 
the uh, loan amount that is initially uh, dealt with times a factor to the number of years that we're dealing with at 10. So we've concluded that payments or values decrease by 95% each year. So we end up doing 100 multiplied a factor of 0.95 to 10. And then we get 598.73. So now we find out that this is the, this would be the value at uh, time 10. So now we're gonna get over here and we're gonna try to find X by making it equal to the payments of X because that is what X is denoted by. There's 10 years left, so we need to discount it back to this comparison date, present value. Then we take the annual effective rate of 10%, right? Now we're gonna solve for X. So we're gonna take PDM calculator and we're gonna set 598.73 as the present value. 10 as the number of years, 10 as the interest rate, zero as future value, compute payment, and we end up getting 97.44. Now, out of all these questions, we find out that D is the correct answer. Thank you.